up, man? This is Frankie. You know, my videos are for entertainment purposes only. Some of the information may be factual. Some of it may not be factual. You always want to do your own research. You have to do that disclaimer. So look, man, the entertainment industry is so funky. It's so filthy and corrupt. So unless you've been, man, hiding under a rock or a rock and you totally out of touch with what's been going on in the entertainment industry, in the rap industry, man, you should know by now that P. Diddy is really the topic of discussion. Everybody's talking about Diddy. You know, he has several allegations of pen, pending against him about different things that he have allegedly did, you know, to some women. So I'm sitting up here, man. I'm listening to Jaguar. So Jaguar has been talking about P. Diddy, things he's done allegedly, been talking about different stuff that's been going on in the music music industry for a while. She don't buy down. So she's talking about P. Diddy. But like she's also talking about just the entertainment and music industry. And look, you have these young people. When they watch these stars, when they watch these entertainers, and when they watch these rappers, they idolize these individuals and they worship them. But they don't have a clue of what they really got to go through, man, to get that platinum status. They don't have a clue. And some of them, by the time, man, that they, you know, once they get in the industry, <laughs> by the time that they find out, they find out you know, what they really got themselves into, it's too late. I want you to listen to this. she'll do for money and let's be honest being a black man in america comes along with a whole lot of perks black men are the most disrespected men in this country but if you're willing to get down on your knees and open up your mouth wide you become a part of an elite crew now everybody's afraid of you now everybody owes you now you have it all and they all wish they could be you, except they don't know you. They don't know you. Mm -hmm. Is you a dick sucking little hoe? <laughs> wow. They should take all of the pictures that they take of these niggas and these women and they should put that down on the counter with the contract before people sign and say, this is what you're signing up for. Mm. Yeah. But they don't do that. How many predators in the industry were once victims in the industry? Damn me all of them. I'd say 98%. So if you could, if, if you, if you, to the best of your knowledge, who's the what? Who or what is the source when it comes to the behavior? Evil. In hip -hop? Evil. It's the source of everything bad. This is evil. It's ruining lives. Giving young girls venereal diseases before they turn 18. Making sure they have uncomfortable conversations to have with their gynecologists and their future husbands. Fuck you, bitch. Did, did, you see, did you see the clip of Diddy and Justin Bieber? On the internet? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think about Justin Justin Bieber and Diddy? I think Usher found Justin and brought him to Diddy. That's what the fuck I think. Diddy's daycare, right? Yes, we said. Daddy's house. <laughs> I think what's fucking people up more than anything is that people knew that this is what was fucking going on and now everybody that stood so close to him has to be looked at. Yeah. Absolutely. But more importantly than that, how the fuck did the Me Too movement miss this fucking sloppy fuck? Well, I mean, expound on that. Well, how do you think? Well, I mean, or who protected it from coming out when it's... Let's, you know? let's be very clear. The Me Too movement had two targets. 
Harvey Weinstein, and R. Kelly. Okay. Look at the known associates. Very close ties mm. in numerous directions between music and the film industry. Yeah. Clive Davis and Harvey Weinstein did a fuck ton of business together. Mm. Clive Davis mentored Diddy. Mm. R. Kelly's tour bus was frequently seen parked in Clive Davis's driveway at the house in Malibu. Wow. I'm just saying, with a bunch of bitches on it, that they bringing food out because Clive didn't want them to bring the dirty hoes inside. They had to fuck them up on the tour bus. Like, I'm. You think Mariah Carey got a story? She got every story. Yeah. She ain't never gonna tell it. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. Her and Nick Cannon, they a match made in heaven. They two niggas they ain't never gonna talk. Mm, yeah. And they both got stories. Yeah, I'm sure. Nick Cannon been to plenty, plenty diddy party. <laughs> Fuck you mean. The masked singer. No diddy parties got all the masks in them. His freak offs. You trying to get fabulous to come, come through that one time. <laughs> Is that where you got the idea from? Is that what made it click? <laughs> the mask from the Diddy party, the man, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. So what do you think the end game is for, for, for this situation? Um, do you see him getting locked up? Do you see him publicly just being castrated the way we're, we're seeing now? What, what He's do you going think? to jail. Mm. Oh, my son. He's going to jail. And he ain't going alone. <laughs> Me working on this Keefe D trial. <laughs> yeah. We gonna shake it all loose, yeah. See. So they saying that Puffy That's the thing about and Keefe D had something to do with Tupac's murder. Allegedly. All you gotta do is tip that one over. Gravity does the rest. Yeah. That was seemingly the one that was kind of starting to tip over when Keefe D got arrested. Diddy's name started being circulated now. Cassie went, mm. Bravo. Well played. Now I want to play the devil's advocate real quick. Just yeah. for the for the fairness of our viewers and, and what we do in this platform. It's a money grab. She went out there, yeah, he did some shit, but she's going out there to grab some money. Some of these women that are doing this are out for money. Your thoughts? Did, did you read the pages? No. Not, not all of it. The stuff that he made her do? Hmm. She ain't get enough. Man, my opinion, she PD did dirty, man. That's my opinion. Okay. She sold out cheap. What man needs to see the woman he's in a relationship with being gangbanged by five dudes with the BBC Half drunk while he's jacking off silk. Wow. I don't think she got enough. <laughs> and these freak calls was once a week at least. He was addicted to the pain pills. He would run out of pills. Guess what? He would make her go get a script. Mm. Wow. What do you think about Mark Curry? Woo, what about What do you think about Mark Curry? Dude wrote the book, Dance with the Devil. He's saying he's seen um, Diddy uh, break uh, Kim's nose, put a wiretap on her. You believe him? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I, I believe, uh, what's his name? Reggie Bonds? Oh, yeah, Roger. Yeah. Roger. Roger mm-hmm. Bonds, whose Instagram just disappeared. Oh, damn. Shoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like they tried to just delete Kim's Wikipedia. Mm. Like, wow. Just like that keystroke. It seemed, uh, it seemed, you know, to me from the outside that Kim was a loving Diddy's life, though. Like, it's kind of, it's hard for some people to believe that he would go, go to that land. He's not capable of love. Mm. She was his most formidable opponent. Okay. He respected her. Right. Because she demanded his respect. Hmm. She was the first bitch to ever get tapes on. Mm. <laughs> That's how she got her first bends. <laughs> yeah. Kim, mm-hmm. Kim was always at least one or two steps ahead. She knew how it, she knew how it worked. She just miscalculated at the end. Miscalculated to the level in which he'd go, or, or yeah, okay. okay. I think for her, she thought not even he mm-hmm. would be willing to do that, you know, especially in the way he did it, right? Um, I- I'm still surprised that people have the ability to question it when. Her casket was pre-ordered. Wow. I didn't know that. Like that fact in detail, people keep forgetting to mention. He had her casket ready three weeks before she died. Custom. What do you mean? Now, Jack, you've, we've been, you've been on this platform probably the last two or three years. Now, we've had the pleasure of interviewing you a number of times. You've been on a number of publications. You said some shit. And never have I seen you get hit with a cease or desist. Never have I seen you get hit with any type of court paper saying that you're lying. Why are yeah. they afraid of Jaguar right? Because I'm telling the fucking truth. Mm. And see, look, man, don't, don't know about it. Like I don't know about to sue her, man. She been out there talking about what's been going on in the entertainment industry for a long time. And then on another video, man, I heard her say things like they got us like the people allegedly like Puffy, these folks that run these record labels, record label, record labels, they make these guys, this some of these artists go through a sodomy ritual where they make them engage in sexual acts. It's all about power and control. You see what I'm saying? You know, and allegedly, that's what people like Clyde Davis did to Puffet, allegedly. So Puffet turned around, he does the same thing to his artists, but they do it for control. These are just all- allegations. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, a lot. they'll do things like, Jaguar was saying, they'll do things like, say for instance, if you're an artist, and you just sign a contract where they have you going to these different parties. And when you go to these different parties, you get drunk, you end up in certain rooms, you get videotaped. And then later on, they call you back in the office and say, we need to renegotiate your contract. And you disagree with the contract, but then they show you the photos of the videos that you just engaged in certain sexual acts and you were you was high, you was drunk, and you didn't know. And they hold it over your head, man, and they pimp you. But you know, that entertainment, man, and that rap, and that entertainment industry, and that music industry, it's funky, it's filthy, man, it's corrupt. But thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.